the first epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Thessalonians, chapter 1. Paul and Salvanus and Timotheus unto the church of Thessalon Thessalon Thessalonians, which is in God the Father and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of God and our and our Father, knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God, for our gospel came not unto you in, in word only, but also in power, and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, as ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. And ye, be and ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction, with joy of the Holy Ghost. So that ye was in examples or exa examples to all that believe in Macedonia and um, uh, 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 Caia, for from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Ancaia, but also in every place your faith to God's word is spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything. For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how ye turned to God from idols to serve the living and the true God. Excuse me. And to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. For your chapter 2, for yourselves, brethren, know our entrance into unto you know our entrance in unto you that it was not in vain but even after that we had suffered we have suffered before and were shamefully entreated as you know as at philippi we were bold in, in in our god to speak unto you the gospel of god with much contention for our exhortation was not of deceit nor nor of uncleanness, nor in guile, but as we were allowed of God to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak, not as pleasing men, but God which trieth our hearts. For neither at any time used we flattering words, for neither at any time used we flat, flattering words, as ye know, nor a cloak of covetous, nor, nor a cloak of, of of covetousness, God is witness. Nor of men sought we glory, neither of you, nor yet of others, when we might have been burdensome as the apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, even as a nurse cherisheth her children. So being, affle being aff affectionately, being affectionately um, desirous, Des desirous of you, we were willing to have imparted unto you <clears throat> not the gospel of God only, but also our own souls, because ye were dear unto us. For ye remember, brethren, our labor and travail for laboring night and day, because we would not be chargeable <clears throat> unto any of you. We preached unto you the gospel of God. Ye are witnesses, and God also, how holy, <coughs> how holily, and justly, and unblameably we behaved ourselves among you that believe. As ye know how we exhorted and comforted and charged every one of you, as a father doeth, as a father doeth his children, that ye would walk worthy of God. Who hath called you unto his kingdom and glory. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing. Because when ye received the word of God which ye heard of us, ye receive it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God 
which effectually worketh also in you that believe. For ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as, as they have of the Jews, who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets, and have persecuted us, and they please not God, and are contrary to all men, forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles that they might be saved, <clears throat> to fill up their sins alway, for the wrath is come upon them to the uttermost. But we, brethren, being taken from you for a short time in presence, not in heart, endeavored the more abundantly to see your face with great desire. Wherefore we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. For what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Ah, not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? For ye are glory, for ye are our glory and joy. Chapter three. Wherefore, we, when we could we could no longer forbear, we thought it good to be left at Athens alone, and sent uh, and sent Timotheus, our brother and minister of God, and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Christ, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith that no man should be moved by these afflictions. For yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass, and ye know. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the temper the, the tempter have tempted you, and our labor be in vain. But now when Timothea, when Timotheus came from you unto us, and brought us good tidings of your faith and charity, and that ye have good remembrance of us always, desiring greatly to see us, as we also to see you. Therefore, brethren, we were comforted over you in all in all our affliction and distress by your faith. <clears throat> For now we live, if ye stand fast in the Lord. For what thanks can we render to God again for you? For all the joy wherewith we joy for your sakes before our God. <clears throat> night and day praying exceedingly that we might see your face and might perfect and might perfect that which is lacking in your faith now god himself and our father and our lord jesus christ direct our way unto you and the lord make you make you um, make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men even as we do toward you to the end he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before God, even our Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his 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 saints. Third chapter four. Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please God. God, so ye would abound more and more, so ye know that, that um, so ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord, by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanct sanct sanctification, that ye should uh, abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lusts of of uh, concoption, com not in the lust of uh, concoptions, even as the Gentiles which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have 
as we also have forewarned you and testified, for God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but God, who hath also given us, who hath, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. And indeed ye do it toward all the brethren which are in all Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more, and that ye study to be quiet, and to do your own business, and to work with your own hands, as we commanded you that ye may walk honestly toward them that, that, that are without, and that ye may have lack of, of nothing. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so then, even so then also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with, with, with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, <clears throat> and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, com comfort one another with these words. Chapter 5 But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a, th as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail come upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in the darkness, that that, that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even also ye do, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know then which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord and of admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we ex exhort you, brethren, warm, um, warm, warm, warm them, not warm, warm them that are un unruly, comfort the feeble, um, blind-minded, Support the weak, be patient toward all men, see that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, pray without ceasing, in, every, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in, in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesyings, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it, brethren. 
pray for us. Greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. The second epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Thess Thessalonians, chapter 1. Paul and Salvanus and Timotheus unto the church of the Thess Thessalonians in our God, in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is meet, because that your faith groweth exceedingly and the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of God for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which ye also suffer seeing it is a righteous thing with God to, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you and to you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of, of the Lord and from the holy for, uh, and uh, no holy and from the um, from the glory excuse me for my mistakes and from the glory of his power when he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe bracket because our testimony among our testimony among you was believed in that day Wherefore also we pray always for you, that our God would, would count you worthy of his calling, and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness, and the work of faith with power, that the name of, of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you, and ye in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now with chapter 2, now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except the there come a failing away uh, uh, except there come a, fa a falling away first that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition who opposeth who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called god or that is worshiped so that he as god sitteth in the temple of god showing himself that he is god Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know that withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now <clears throat> letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks uh, always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth 
whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which, which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself, <clears throat> now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through the gra through grace. <clears throat> Comfort your hearts and establish you in every in every good word and work. Chapter three. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you, that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. And the Lord directs your hearts into the love of God and into the patient waiting for Christ. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly, <clears throat> and not after the tradition which he received of us. For yourselves know how ye ought to follow us, for we behaved not ourselves disorderly among you. Neither did we eat any man's bread for naught, but wrought with labor and travail night and day that we might not be chargeable to any of you. Not, not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an ex example unto you to follow us. For even when we were with you, this, this we commanded you, that if any would, any would not work, neither should he eat. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are, bu are, but are busybodies. Now then, that are such we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ, that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. But, um, but ye brethren, be not weary in well-doing, and if, if, any man obey not our word by his, by this epistle, note that man, and, and have no company with him, that he may be ashamed. Ye count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. Now the Lord of peace himself give, give you peace, always be always by all means. The Lord be with you all. The salutation of Paul with mine own hand, which is the token in every epistle, so I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you very much for watching and listening to this Bible reading um, video. Thank you very much again for your patience with me. Um, since I sometimes stutter a bit, even if I do, yeah, I do keep claiming that I have managed to work on stuttering, but not completely, you know, um, because on some occasions, on some occasions I still tend to stutter. Um, I don't know why, but perhaps, um, yeah, I tend to get, you know, overexcited uh, when, yeah, when I see and perceive exciting things or entities. Anyway, guys, thank you very much again for watching and listening. I shall see you in the next Bible reading video and take care, stay safe, stay faithful, remain steadfast and stay tuned. Bye bye, cheers.